Hello and welcome back to the Yogscast. Today you join me and Ben with Mitch, one of the developers of Battletech. I'm a very special developer. Of You're a very special developer. Co-founder. Studios? Battletech yeah. is Big a shot. game. Yeah. yeah. We well, did Shadow Run, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that, that, was, okay. that was cool. Well, really? yeah. these two just need to get a room. They have been... <laughs> Will you excuse us for a moment? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you played Shadowrun. Yeah, That's yeah, it's great. Really good. It's I loved making right. those games. So Battletech is something which is, is pretty old, right? But... Very old. 30, 30 plus years old. Yeah. Uh, and it's... you didn't make the original. My partner Jordan did. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, wow. Uh, this is, I think, my sixth Battletech game, though, that okay. I've made in my... Long, long, oh my God. So grey bearded. You're involved career. in the in the old tabletop miniatures game, but and now you founded a game dev studio. No, and this is the sixth video game that I oh, have made, or right. fifth. I don't remember, but yeah, wow. Jordan did the original board game. Were you involved in the Mech Commander? I I was the producer and designer of Mech Commander. <sighs> so game. so Ben yeah. has played like all of these games. And I said the as if and there the wasn't tabletop. a team. I'm sorry, team. <laughs> I still and, love uh, you. <laughs> So we, this is something that Ben, we, we, we re, he was really excited to see it at Paradox Con, and we got to play a preview build, and now we got, we got to share this with you. And if only I could share that initial joy in your eyes. Well, I know. when I, I shook to... hands with him, he wouldn't let go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just, that that's where the mechs come from. <laughs> from these hands. <laughs> so you played this on the tabletop miniatures. So I, yeah, I used to play Battletech tabletop miniatures, um, like back in the 80s, before I got in, no, it was after I did Games Workshop stuff. I stopped playing 40k and started playing Battletech. And then I didn't play it for a while and I went to uni and then someone had made a Java-based recreation of the, bat of the tabletop game on the computer and then des designed this ridiculously complicated MMO-style campaign where every game of the tabletop game you play um, it then feeds the results into the server and changes the outcome of the universe and factories change hands and mechs get built. Was this on uh, Kesmai or the Genie Network? Um, it was just like a fan-made thing. Oh, really? Um, it's free. Like there was no commercial side to it at all. Oh, the really? Fans of the tabletop game had put it together for themselves. Oh, and that's great. Play. It was so much fun, and it took all the bookkeeping out because back in the day, you, you had these uh, gigantic yeah. mech sheets. Whoever's editing this put in an overlay of what these mech sheets looked like. They're there ridiculous. There might be a yellowed parchment of one of the <laughs> yeah. remaining somewhere. Well, you know, people are still playing Battletech well, today. Do, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And there's, there's a modern version of it that's quite similar to the old one. And um, you have to every time you take damage, you have to fill in all the dots to say that I've lost armor on my arm or right. my head, and like my ammo's running out and stuff. It's so detailed and I loved it, but it's so much bookkeeping. So on the computer, so you don't have to worry about any of that bookkeeping. We've got our squad here. Let's just, here let's, shall we play the game? I feel like okay. a bit of a third wheel, but Sorry. You, <laughs> I, I love doing this because it, it, it basically kind of, os, well, through osmosis, your passion for it kind of comes through <laughs> yeah. and it's just really That's nice. Us. Okay, we'll play a game. Like, let's uh, play a game. Oh man, so we're against some random robots. opponents. So, if you've never heard of Battletech before, you um, might have played the Mech Warrior games. I like, same yeah, I like right. how Mech you, Warrior, you, were picking, you were picking our, our squad and you said, oh, we should have a heavy cavalry squad, which yeah, we, yeah. riding into battle. That's one of my favorites. But uh, then you said we should play against a random opponent just to make yeah, it that, interesting. I just, yeah, I prefer that. <laughs> just to make it, there's a chance well, that Ben's cool, going to get completely yeah. wiped out. With a random opponent, I don't know what we're coming up against until we find them in the fog of war. Right. Which is, which is cool. Now, uh, yeah, if you hold down the right mouse button, you can tumble the camera. Ah, uh, no. Oh, my see. goodness. Now, you'll see uh, kind of to the right, I uh, see there's an arrow on the right side of your screen. So, oh, yeah. yeah. Is that the enemy see that beacon? Zone? Yeah, that's sort of their uh, drop zone. Right. So they're probably around, here around there somewhere. A good distance away. Yeah. And all those buildings in the center, those will uh, block line of sight. Okay. Right? And you can maneuver around them. There's things to step on. And right there, you see these uh, sort of swirling clouds of dust and stuff. Mm -hmm. Those uh, kind of act as cover, just like if this, w if this map took place uh, in an alpine environment. Right. It, it, it functions the same way as hiding in the trees. Ah, so, okay. So, yeah. like so that's cover like a there. smoke grenade. Right. Yeah, uh, it doesn't natural. actually reduce your chance to hit. It actually reduces the amount of damage uh, okay. that you take oh, okay. on this particular map. Yeah, it's a mechanic we're experimenting with right now. So our max. Right. Got, now, right um, now, yeah. You. Oh, look how pretty. Sorry. <laughs> so these... these they're oh, all man. different. They're all classic designs, though. Oh, so yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's, here, let's, there's, there's lots of different eras in, in Battletech universe. There are. Mechs get, like, higher and higher tech, but these oh, are my yeah. favorite ones, because these are the lowest tech mechs. So 3025. <laughs> 3025, yeah. like tech level Everybody one. says the same thing. I'm so happy. That, <laughs> I'm yeah. so happy you're, you're happy right now. This is the best. So if you look, so this one's called the Victor. This yeah. is your heaviest mech right here. Uh, and he's a badass. And if you look on the r lower right, you can see he has an autocannon 20, yeah. which is 
is the single most dangerous weapon I, I can think of in the game. It's okay. like a giant cannon that does like it just, massive boom. So it's this that left arm cannon. Yeah. Right, okay. That's right on this one here. Right, yeah. This is AC20. There's right. Two medium lasers on his other arm. <laughs> okay. Here, which are like your, there your stock He's got weapons. short range missiles. Uh, he's got a, yeah, that's in here. That's his little... His well, weapons. yeah, it depends. Uh, you know, when you're in the mech lab, on your ship, the Argo, you can mm. change where things are oh, and cool. things like nice. that. Nice, yeah. okay, so I like pretty, that. You can completely customize this mech, but it's great. It's sort of, you know, default default loadout is great. That AC-20 is a monster, but it's short range only. In fact, all his weapons are quite short ranged. So he's a heavy, heavy yeah. hitter. Yeah, so get him range. in. But the other thing that's cool about him is that he has uh, jump jets. Right. I think all our mechs in this lance have jump jets, right? That's, that's what cavalry means in ah. that particular drop. I always use cavalry. Uh, Especially if you're in a city, these jump yeah. jets are going to come in. Now, out. you used him accidentally while you were fumbling around. Oh, I spent around. his action. Don't worry about it, because we haven't engaged the enemy yet. <laughs> okay. So go ahead and choose somebody else. So then we've got this guy, the quick draw. He's also right. fairly heavy, a bit, bit lighter than the victim. Yeah, he's a, he's a heavy mech, but he's got, what, like six medium oh, lasers on him or wow. something? Wow. So he is just a monster with those medium lasers lasers and he's also got some short range missiles. Now the thing about him is uh, he may not be that heat efficient. Yeah, right? like if he jumps and fires all those lasers, he's going to massively overheat. Yeah, and so there's two ways that heat works in this particular game. If you uh, if you look, the, he's got three status bars on top. Uh, the first one, go ahead and let's just yeah, does it move, pull does, out. Does he heat when he moves or is it only when he fires? Uh, it should be uh, only when he jumps or fires. Right. Okay. Right. You can fire as many of your weapons at once as you want as well, right? Except for the heat part, yes. Okay. And that's the thing uh, you have to manage. And so at a certain point, if you uh, use too much heat, your mech will actually start taking damage, internal damage. Oh. And on the last stream with Anders, I actually blew my own arm off, I think. <laughs> uh, I'm actually terrible at this game, so. <laughs> well, you're having fun though. <laughs> yeah, oh, it's all about oh I'm having a great he was, time. He was desperate, you know, you had to have him take a risk, yeah. you know? <laughs> uh, now, the other thing that happens, if you overheat your mech even more than that, mm -hmm. then uh, you can cause it to shut down in the middle of combat. And that is really, really bad because yeah. besides then you're a sitting duck. You're not. You're not just a sitting duck. It's worse because when you're shut down or when your mech falls down, then the enemy can call a shot on you, so and he could actually target a specific uh, area of your oh, mech. Right. So you can shoot the cockpit. Exactly. Yeah. Just blow the pilot away. That's yeah. not what you want. And then take all the salvage because the mech will be almost completely pristine except for the cockpit. Oh, I see. So that's nasty. Now you see those dots there. Those, uh, oh, when the you dots move, on the floor, yeah. Yeah, those, uh, those are the valid places that you can move. But beyond that, uh, what's great about that is that you can, you the extent you can sweep out there and they'll also be color coded to show different terrain types and things like mm -hmm. that because terrain is a big part of this game. Okay. Yeah, because I think the one we did before, there was a big river running down the right, middle. Right, right, right. There's not a river here, so this is a very... Uh, you have to be very heat conscious on this map. Right, because that's uh, right, because there is cool kind of a, by having a swim. Right, there's like a crater somewhere on the map that's filled with water. Right. Oh. Uh, I think it's to the right. Wow, look how pretty that is. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I love our art team. <laughs> no, no, it's just sand. Yeah, neat. Yeah, a crater kind of like that is filled with water somewhere on this map. I think we're not going to see it. It's like a jacuzzi. It. Oh, you'll <laughs> find it. So um, what are these arrows here? So those chevrons there uh, is one of the new mechanics that we just implemented uh, based on feedback from our uh, Kickstarter backers okay. the, from the beta. And uh, what this is is what we call evasion. So the farther your mech moves, the more chevrons it can acquire. Ah, so this guy only moved a few steps. So right. He hasn't got any, whereas he can big run. Right. So the farther you go, the more chevrons you get. And each chevron that you get uh, increases your difficulty to be hit. Ah, so the farther nice. you move, the harder it is to hit you, which is very much classic tabletop. Yeah, back mm -hmm. in the tabletop game. Yeah. Like it didn't matter how many movement points you spent, it just meant that the distance that you moved was the only thing right. that mattered. And also, your mech warriors have special abilities too, and one of the special abilities you can get in the game is called evasive yeah. move, which adds an extra chevron to every move that mech warrior takes. Oh, okay. nice. Yeah, yeah. So we're moving up now so to try and see if we can see the enemy, yeah. right, and locate yeah. them. So 
Ah, oh, let me contact. contact. Whoop, 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 whoop. So we, what? So do we know it's just as unknown? It's unknown. It could be anything. Yeah, anything. Right. Now, as you get closer, it might resolve just so that you learn that it's a, a 60 ton mech or something like that. Okay. Uh, and it's, po yeah, you see those green dots there? Mm -hmm. That's oh, that the, cover. the cover. of the <laughs> Right. You can nice. see if you read in the uh, corner, it says forest right now. Well, uh, uh, right. <laughs> well, work in progress. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Cool. Yeah, thanks for letting us look at this really early build. I'm yeah. Really excited. Like. Well, it's it's awesome showing people your game when they actually want to see it. It's <laughs> kind of, you know, it's <laughs> kind of cool. So, um, just to go through our other two mechs quickly, we've got this. Yeah. It's the Shadowhawk. Right? Yeah. He's got an AC5, which is a longer range lighter auto cannon. Right. Two it, medium. Lighter. He's also got an LRM5 at the bottom, so that's its two long range. Me this is actually kind of a jack of all trades mech. Right. It's effective, reasonably effective at short, medium, and long range. Right. So how? Where are the long-range missiles? Uh, pretty damn long. Okay. Let's see, I guess it seems to be fine. Well, yeah, I'm interested but in But I just seeing. have to say, the Shadow, Shadowhawk used to be a joke in the tabletop game. Because for some reason, it's, it's points value, it's battle value. They used to say, okay, I'll play you at 4,000 points. And you, you design a lance of 4,000 points. And the Shadowhawk was just grossly overpriced for what it was for some reason. Right. So it was like 900 points. Um, whereas, like, the quick draw was also about 900 points or 1,000 points. So you pay like 50 points more for a quick draw, which was just tougher, more guns. Yeah. Uh, it's a great a value. Shadow, you were only taking a shadow hook if you were like trying to handicap yourself and show complete disdain for your opponent. <laughs> I'm going to beat you with a shadow hook. I see. <laughs> it's like having one hand tied right behind your back. Nice. That's but awesome. I guess in this, they're probably... You know, there isn't a points value, so uh, I'm sure it's a Well, actually, back. in multiplayer, there is. And oh. it's important. We don't use battle value. Oh, you just... Uh, oh, do I smash it to a building? Just right, right click, and you'll get rid of that. Uh, ah, okay, cool. Yeah. You can, you can shoot the buildings if you want. Yeah, I noticed that they're outlines, and I assume yeah. the only reason they've gone outline is if we want to blow them up. Yeah. So well, we have missions, flanking. which is, you know, destroy this area or stuff like that. I so. see. Uh, so, we right. so far, you only see two of them, though. And the last. All right. Now we have, we have enemy contact, and this is where you've been in kind of uh. this sort of rambling free move. Use your mechs however you want mode. Mm -hmm. Now we're in interleave turn order. So you can see at the top of the screen there, four, you know, five, four, three, two, one. Mm -hmm. oh, so right. the light mechs move on four, okay. the medium on three, the heavy on two, and the assault mechs on one. The heaviest ones. Right. Like the exactly. Ones. So they move last. So that's right. our Victor. He's he's an assault. And mech. so you can see. You uh, one apparently of us and time, the enemy. Right? Yeah, we each have one of each. That's interesting. Okay, that is interesting. Right. Okay. And so what's interesting here? So light, uh, first of all, so, so we have to move our light mech off right. fire stuff. Now you right? don't have to move him right now if you don't want to. You could also reserve his action, wait to see what the enemy does, and then respond accordingly. But then I run the risk of everyone just shooting him. Right? Yes, you do. Um, but so he's got a high risk. Reserve is our action, business. Does that reserve it till <laughs> very last? After all, or just the till the next. So it will to the next one. Ah, but, to the next stage, but what's okay. fascinating about that? I love this system. This isn't from the BattleTech. This is our lead designer Kiva designed this. Okay. But what's great about that? You can reserve all the way down to phase one, mm -hmm. and then you will go on phase one, and then immediately go again on phase four. Ah, next turn. Right? Yeah. Like a double. So move. you go last and then first. That's right. Nice. And so that's very powerful. Mm. That's a really cool idea. Okay, yeah. I think I'm going to defer, because I think I'm going high speed, and they're at Well, actually, range. that's not even high speed. That's just, that's that mech's walk. Oh, right. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. If you check, here, click the, uh, the sprint button at the bottom, there, and now see how far you can go. Oh, right. Yeah, if I okay. sprint, can I then not shoot? That's correct. You don't shoot, but look at all the chevrons you yeah, get. Yeah, you can just go. Right? Uh, now, the mech that you have right there is the fire starter, yeah. which is uh, so fun to play with. Uh, you have to use it carefully. For one thing, each of its flamers mm -hmm. only has three charges. Right. All right. Oh, wow. But they're, but they're very, very useful because when an enemy mech heats up, mm -hmm. you then hit it with the flamers and you can shut it down. Right. right? Uh, and then set it up for your next mech. You know, to, get to the do kill serious, shot. yeah, serious the direct, shots or the something shot. like nice. that, right? So what do I click to like save his sweet, for later? sweet? Uh, okay, so hit escape, and then you see the reserve ah, button. Ah, there we go. Uh -huh. Okay, Perfect. okay. So now one of his mediums is going to go. Yeah, uh, that's correct. Right. And then you, two of your mechs can go if you wish. So we've got the shadow hawk on the side. But you could just move one and then reserve the other one again, like you ah, did so before. Ah, so I can't reserve twice in a row. Uh, you could right now reserve them both. Yeah, yeah. Right? Just like that. I'm going to wait for him. 
Nice. What happens if he tries to reserve now? Oh, well, they do reserve too. Yeah. So if they do, everybody goes down one too. And so that happens to me in multiplayer a lot. See, now you've yeah. got three. So I saw him very briefly, and I recognize the silhouette. That's a catapult, right. which is a long-range missile mech. That's not good for you. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's really bad. And he can fire those indirect. Well, I, he used to be able to. Can you fire them indirectly? You can fire indirectly if you have a spotter. Right. So if any of his mechs can see you, he can fire guy, over so he's everything. He's just going to lurk behind this boulder, lobbing like artillery shells that's over. That's very, very likely. <laughs> so we need, to, we need to do something about that. I'm going to uh, get the, the quick draw. Yeah. Oh, like there. See, now you have out. line of sight. If you move there, that red line that you're seeing, mm -hmm. that means you have direct line of sight. If it was an arced line, that means that only missiles would be able to fire there. Uh, oh, and you're just right. out of range there if you're like... Oh, now next time I'll show you a trick. Uh, also, before you move, you mm -hmm. can check to see uh, what your to hit value will be. Oh, that would have been handy. But. Let's start now. Here we go. The catapult is oh, really one of my favorite looking mech mechs. Warrior, yeah. we have, I love it. We have two. Uh, it's pretty, isn't it? And that comes to us from our friends at uh, Piranha Games. These mechs actually come from a game called Mech Warrior Online. Yes. Where you're oh, in the cockpit. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I like yeah, that. Yeah. And they oh, were so nice they enough to allow. The yes. So oh, the universe actually feels the same. Yeah. Right? Because that's such mech, a. Uh, one it mech looks so iconic, oh, that man. one as well, doesn't yeah. it? Oh, it's yeah. a wonderful mech. Playing mech. And mech this guy is a, is a Jagger mech. That's correct. He's like a lightly armored, long range autocannon platform. Wow, he knows his stuff. <laughs> so you have to put up with this all the time. <laughs> no, no, we've, we've never talked about Battletech before. Really? He's just well, this is a very special shoot. moment but for you then. There's so occasionally cool. games that I know everything about that Ben will oh, be in okay, the same Oh, okay, so it's situation. your turn to be irritating. So, no, I, I, I'm, I'm so here's it. the thing. He has two chevrons. So you can see you've only got a 40-50% chance to hit. But if you uh, hit escape, there is a tactic we could employ if you choose to, Commander. Mm -hmm. Right down there, you see sensor lock. Right. And what that does, in place of firing, mm -hmm. you can use the special ability, and it will remove two chevrons from him. Ah. If he was a sensor trace, like those other guys, it would also reveal him. Ah, okay. Right? But we, that would be instead of us shooting. That's correct. So then you would follow up with another mech another shooting mech. him, uh, having taken off those two. So oh, shit, there's a lot of combination yeah, play in this game. Yeah, I should have sent the, the fire start around to scan him so this guy could come in and get a kill. Hmm. Yeah, that's possible, too. I mean, he's too. got a lot of lasers. I don't know if I want to give them all up for, um, for the sensors. But I'll well, I'd say, let's shoot, Tex. Let's go. Let's do it. Okay, right. uh, how, is there a projected heat? How much heat I'll be on if I fire Yes. Everything? So... Uh, Click the enemy mech to target it. And now if you look on the left-hand side, your heat gauge is flashing uh, at you okay, yeah. because your heat will go to that level. Now you see that line there to the right? right. right. That's the line where you start taking damage. Right. If so you reach the very end, of heat. shut down. That is a big <laughs> chunk of heat. So how come some of my lasers are more accurate than others? Because uh, two of your lasers are in your arms. Ah. And the, the, the truth is it's not really because they're in their arms. <laughs> that they become more accurate. It's a game balance thing that we decided. We make them more accurate yeah. because your arms can get blown off okay. fairly easily yeah. sometimes. And weakness. so we give it a bonus if you put it there. Well, they're more, um, it's easier to like, I, like aim them. Oh, you, you can, can justify it if you want. I'm yeah. just telling you. Yeah. Way better than the, like a torso mounted weapon that you've got to turn the whole mess. Also, they are, they're shoot. slightly closer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that long. That's enough. Perfect. Okay, well, if I just turn off the, the torso up. Laser. Why would you do that? Well, so I don't generate too much heat. Ah, screw it. Do it next I'm time. Gonna, I'm going to do that. <laughs> All right. I'm going to turn two of them off. All right, here we go. I appreciate <laughs> your conservatism. Oh, 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 there's one. Okay. There's oh, a couple of we missed hits. a lot there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm getting Some XCOM flashbacks. Went wild. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now you're out in cover. Oh, no. Well, there are ways of getting much, you know, much better to hit numbers. Yeah, we just need to get no closer. Worries. We need to use the sensors. Yeah, it depends. Yeah, it, you have to really play the range of the particular weapon. So closer isn't always better at all. There are minimum ranges on mm -hmm. a lot of these weapons, oh, okay. like those long range missiles. If you get too close, you get minuses to hit. Right. Uh, so if we just. I guess we lob a... So here, if you uh, hit the, uh, right now, if you t uh, hit the tab key, mm -hmm. you can switch ah, between them, you can okay, compare yeah. the two hits. So it's 75 chance to hit each of them with your long range it's missiles. You could f fire at both of them, but you would have to fire different weapons. Ah, uh, okay, that makes right? sense. I see. Cool, let's do it. I mean, this is just a small missile launcher. It's yeah. not gonna do an incredible amount, but it's better than uh, that. Actually, oh, that was, a little hit. That was pretty good.
Nice. Okay. Chips yeah. away a little bit. Okay, now we've still got to... I'm going to reserve the fire starter again because I don't want him to run out and just get mauled by these I guys. think you're right. And also, its weapons are extremely short range. Mm. Like, you know... So that double it's got two medium mostly. lasers, but those flamers and the machine guns are, are nearly point blank. Oh. oh. So that is... Some bomb bar. That was no big deal. That was a lousy to hit roll he had, too. So what's this yellow bar? That Oh, I forgot to tell you about that. That's your stability meter. Oh, right? no. Because maps can fall, can fall down. No. So you got to watch oh, which terrain you're on. There's some rough terrain on this map, okay. which makes falling down easier. Oh. Uh, but uh, one of the Banana best ways to knock a mech down, too, <laughs> one is uh, punching a mech. Okay. Makes them very unstable. And the other way is uh, very concussive weapons. Right, also. okay. But it can blow it over. So what are you so trying to do now? He's not got line of sight to anyone. Um, uh, no, so he doesn't, seeing right? Seeing what his other options are, really. He has, it, without line of sight in a battle mech game, his Chris? option is to press that button <laughs> and defend himself. Okay, what does that do? If I get shot, uh, I like, take my stamina so or something? So what you just did, you went into a braced and entrenched stance. Mm -hmm. And what that really means is that, first of all, uh, brace, you see the uh, shield mm -hmm. icon there? Uh, yeah, go ahead and get rid of that. Uh, if you right-click on the mech right now, See, and then mouse over the shield. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, there you go. Here, right. Now you see it. that Ooh. it's 50% damage reduction. You're sort of wow. bracing, right? Wow. And then the other thing, if you move over one more icon, entrenched, gives you 50% uh, stability reduction. Uh, you know, when people hit okay. you, you'll fall over less often. So or you have less damage of a chance. From the front you could run in and cancel this with a, with a melee attack. Yes, which That's is my good. favorite almost my favorite thing in the game. Oh, oh my man. goodness. I remember I asked I asked one question I asked, which I, I feel like I should should ask again. It was a very leading question. It was a, oh. it was <laughs> yeah. a can we see some, um, maybe some melee weapons? Like chainsaws? Now, those, <laughs> a uh, dream. those a actually dream. don't do that. <laughs> because see your weapon range there? Yeah. White? You're not in it. No. <laughs> so if you mouse over them, you'll see the yeah, lasers are being your lasers can hit. Oh, oh, oh there no. it is. He's just you doing clicked. It. I clicked. You clicked. He well, well, he well you might as well. Know. He so you, can, fire. you have a ch you have a choice. You I can either fire or get entrenched. Yeah, turn off that stuff. Well, do you um, remember you can move again at start because the right. yeah, he's just going to have to get out of there. Mech. So you're going to blast right. the laser, then you got to either run out or run Those in. Those two hit, so yeah, okay. we can't really argue with that. Furious. Oh, Fury is a new mechanic that we've added to the game. You see that red status bar to the left of your mech warrior? Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, that is your Fury meter. And so what happens is during the game, uh, as your mechs take damage or explode, your mech warrior's fury they get rises. Angry. Ah. And when they get angry, they get focused. Okay. Okay. And, uh, and then they uh, have a special attack that they can do. Right. Only one of them can do it. So you have to choose the right mech and time it correctly. Oh, okay. But when you do that, it will remove, it'll give you a 95% chance to hit with all your weapons, wow. unless you're in minimum range. You okay. know, like if right. you're too close for a, oh, now stop right here. Should we charge him? In yes. Here, all right. First of all, turn <laughs> on all your weapons. Turn on all your weapons. This is the moment I've been waiting for. Okay. Oh, the glorious so fire starter charge. Go ahead, click. And then when you click attack, what's going to happen is it's going to run in, it's going to melee, mm -hmm. and then it's going to fire all your flamers and machine oh guns. Oh, my God. Uh, but, but it won't fire your medium lasers. Guns. Right. Is that because they're too big or they're in my arms? Because... Um, Flamers and machine guns and small lasers are considered small weapons uh, okay. in our game, and they uh, they automatically fire when you melee. Nice. Okay, cool. Uh, All right. And so shift is guarded as well. Amazing. And we'll be behind this building, so these guys... That's correct. They'll have to come now, you would know if they could see you because they would have red, red blinking lines. eyes. Ah. Uh, a little eyeball would blink to let you know that you will be in their line of sight. You Perfect. won't be. This is probably the best move you can make with this guy. Banzai! Here we go. That's why they call her showboat. Bam! Boom! <laughs> Here it comes. Right in the nose. And then... Oh! Yeah, oh! baby! Take that! Oh my god. Fantastic. <laughs> See, you just spiked his heat. Now, the thing I like the most about, and I remember the most about the preview version of this game that we played before was that I, I see you remember we punched a mech he, right in the face. He went on his 
back, like uh-huh. knocked over completely. Right. And then, for, then there was a little pause, and then lasers just <laughs> shot him <laughs> right in the groin. Yeah, I love the delay. It's like, oh yeah, there here. Was, there was, there was, it's like, oh, hang on, I've just remembered. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, what's this button do? <laughs> just for just for good measure, you know, he just was completely dead. Just put him in the balls. Oh, it was. All right, it was now you want to Kraken? Uh, so we have to use a medium mech at this point. I don't think he can get around to join the gangbang on the catapult. Now, here's the good news. Mm-hmm. He's jump capable. Uh-huh. Let's see what we can do with that. Uh, jump jets. Okay. And now let's see where we can go. Jump over the so buildings. So you can jump on top of the building. Oh. All right. And sometimes you can Still get a direct, the- direct fire. Is that? Stop right there. Click one time. <laughs> one time. Now mouse over him. This guy. Yeah. And you see, you, know, you got a 75 chance. Oh, we've chance, got good shots. Right? It's not yeah, bad. That's pretty good. I would turn on all your weapons, though. Yeah, Screw yeah. it. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> right? All right. Here we go. Good call. Thank you. Oh. I'm here to help. So you're getting on... I Get thought you would have the crushed building. the building. No, you're using it like a little step. Like a Some of the buildings... Slab. Yeah. Next time you'll see those little buildings, yeah, you just step on them and they blow up. <laughs> uh, all right. give it to the full, full shebang. Just give him the... Goodbye, Yager Mech. Nice. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, cannon, the oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that was trouble. pretty good. Now, you spread your damage out. Not you. I mean, you're meant for it. Like an idiot. Oh, you oh. can't oh. just ram that guy. <laughs> Fire start. He's almost falling over. Look, he's got lots of gear. Yeah, that's right. Ooh. Well, that catapult's a 65-ton mech, so, yeah. you know, you off more than the you fire starter's, fire I think, only 35, so, so, yeah. So, what are these little bars we're looking at here? Which orange, ones? Orange, white. Okay, so the white ones are armor. Okay. And the ye- and the orange ones are internal structure. Uh, so Please right-click on the mech, and you can see as you mouse over each... Ooh, that's really bad. So our bad. shoulder's lost all of its armor and some of its... Internal. Right, oh, and yeah. if he gets hit in the shoulder... Right. That will knock his arm right. off. It, it can looks... hit his jump jets and destroy those. Machi- oh. That's bad. If it hits your machine gun ammo, it'll cause an ammo explosion. It'll probably blow the arm clean off. Right. So I recommend... Eject the can, arm. Yeah, yeah, just do it now. <laughs> Set it over with. Eject the arm. Uh, try and keep your uh, other side towards the mechs. Oh, right. Turn uh, him to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's a really okay. good right. idea. So mouse over the enemy and see what kind of... Yeah. Him, oh, that's nice. Let's give him the business. That's right. Oh, so the quick draw couldn't cut, get close enough to melee. So right, gonna, but he's got just he's just about to do plenty he's of got damage. So much firepower. Take it! Dugga, this dugga, is dugga, all the lasers. Dugga, dugga, all the, the lasers. All the single lasers. <laughs> all the medium lasers. Oh yes. <laughs> so now throw your mech up. I'm sorry. I just have to keep going. All right. Keep going. Ah, just jump ladder. your mech up. Oh, whoa! Oh my God. Whoa! Whoa. That's, that's, that's awesome. awesome! Oh my God! The awesome is bigger than all of our mechs. It's, it's bigger than God. It's going to mess this shadow, shadow yeah, That's not good at all. 